Hey guys, how's it going? We are back with another GTA 5 story mode video. Uh, for anyone just joining this um, series, this is just uh, trying to make as much money as possible on the story mode by the end of the series. I'm get distracted by that message there. Um, so yeah, just try to make as much money as possible by the end of the series when there's no missions left and there's no side missions left, there's no uh, random events, uh, question mark um, missions left. And once we've bought all the possible properties, We're gonna do this Tonya mission again. You, Lamar, I mean Franklin or whatever. Everybody on the block knows you gonna vine wood and shit. Well shit, if going vine wood means I ain't hitting the pipe like 1992, then shit, I'm guilty as charged. Punk ass. What? Bitch ass. Excuse me? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. But where's your love for the hood? JB ain't doing good. He needs help. We need your help, nigga. We gonna lose everything. Ah right. shit. What do I gotta do? Same as before, boo. A little help with the tow truck. Nothing for a real man like you. All right. You just get yourself together. Your ass done went crazy. You never could say no to me, Franklin Clinton. I ain't so cracked out I don't remember that night behind the burger shop. Not this again. What, we was like 13? But you was a man after that night. Damn, every time with this shit. And nothing even happened. It's all good, baby. I know that wound ain't healed. Oh, let's get this tow truck. That's our truck. You know the drill. Let's get in. Get those lights going. Dispatch, what you got? 10 4. We got an SUV in a handicapped spot without a sticker. It's a lucky plucker and little soul. Do you copy? You know I don't copy. I'm an original. <laughs> yeah, we got you. JB still sick. Man, you sure you need me? Because you look like you know what you're doing. One, I can't drive, and two, this ain't no work for a lady. Oh, you really fighting a feminist cause there, ain't you, Tanya? Like your aunt, you mean? I saw her fake jogging the other day, chanting some whacked out nonsense. That bitch is crazy. Yeah, that we can't agree on. And I got qualifications, honey. Like hell you do. I got a certificate in cosmology. You never seen my nails. What, you going into space now? You always did think you were so clever. Remember Davis High? You didn't learn shit at that school. <laughs> and you got your math on the corner in Davis. Mm, let's grab this illegal part of the car. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, a little bit of a sore throat. Uh, where is it? Not one of the disabled bay, I'm guessing. We're on, boo. Let's move it out. Alright, let's go.
People are so ignorant in San Andreas. Oh, Los Santos. This ain't a job for making new friends, is it? I thought you meant it's just some repo work. Yeah, that's true. Same shit, but nicer cars. It's an honest dollar, and there ain't many of those around. An honest dollar that I ain't seen yet. Man, JB need to get his head straight. JB's going through a hard time. A hard time sitting on his ass smoking crack. I gotta keep his hours up. Word is they gonna sell the business. A new owner ain't good news for the drivers with no papers. JB sold his social for a piece two years back. I see the problem, but I just don't see that as mine. You too good to cover a brother now? I'm here, ain't I? I've been covering that brother for 20 years. Drop it in the marked area. Same as before, honey. I'll make it up to you, Franklin. You know I will. See you round. Oh, save. All right, and now we need to turn to <coughs> so that we can go and do that Leicester mission. I went and bought the suit that I needed yesterday for it, so hopefully we're still in it. the one that we actually bought yesterday on. Which I think was that one. Oops, so let's go downstairs. A car in the garage. Yep, that'll do. Not the best car, but it'll do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look to see how much thing he has. Uh-huh, right. So until we've got all the characters, I don't think we can. to be something we we'll look at later is purchasing the scrapyard <coughs> because I tend to break a lot of cars. Although I'm relatively good at driving I do still tend to break a lot of cars because stuff like that happens. So the sooner we can buy that the better. I 
Actually not that bad a car this. So that's what I'm on about. I'm not a bad driver until someone gets in my way. See you last time. The hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail, the Union Depository. Now they say it cannot be hit. It hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks as I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see, either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Well, gem as it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. Right. It would have been nice well, if they had him in that as well, though. In LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. I don't know why we're taking our call. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business? FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Okay, let's get this done. Hmm. Let's go. Around the back. You reading me? Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. Thank you, sir. Glasses are live. Shoot away. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. Uh, what am I looking at here? All right, what do we got here? Uh, surveillance and ventilation. Now all I'm after is the alarm. The keypad, and we're done. Alright, where's the keypad? A shot of the alarms come through. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. 
Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. The same my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm gonna take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Alright, this part should be relatively easy. Drive us around the block. We gotta find a way up to the roof. Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. So you keep up with the old crew? You know, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. I kept tabs on him for a while, needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. I'm on the roof! Alright, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. Right, this part's... ...relatively easy. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway. They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. I think that's here. No, no, the air conditioning roof unit. We need to know where those vents come out. Uh, I've done this before, but I can't seem to figure it out. See if I maybe need to go up here. Many times I've done this and I just can't get it cleanly. Sorry about that, it's just my cat. Well, that was a failure. Easy way down, but I might fail or back out at the last minute. Let's 
so let's just go the same way we came up. Try and get on let's this. this up. We don't draw attention. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. Right, so, what let's head back. See? Nothing that'll cause I had to deal with the cat there for a minute. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras Keep them quiet. broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able no, to I'm not talking about security guard on the door. The injuring him. He's already injured, which is why he's being annoying. But it's something that happened while he was outside. Anything else? Not me. Well, the, uh, more to like making accusations. Cabinets in the center of the store by the register, so I'd start there. Look at mm, glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof, it means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So we go in when it's open, then, right? Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. Uh, might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah. All right. There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. Ha <laughs> ha. Workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't wanna leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise making decisions that is your domain my friend here now, there's two ways I see of doing this we go in smart or we go in loud and dumb remember the vents if we're gonna be smart we pump a little knockout gas through the air system then hit the cabinets while everyone's out you'll have to source the gas of course but crowd control won't slow you down and that might improve the take the cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. That means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run into the front door or try to play it smart? Um, I think we'll play it smart. Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Eddie right. Toe. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. You're gonna have to go with Mota. Mota. He's a pro. Not much else to say. Hacker. Back office, but 
This is the person who will determine how long you get inside. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. And just to keep the cut down, I'm gonna pick him, I think. In fact, no, I'm gonna pick Paige. Paris. <laughs> good. Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. That look good to you? Are you sure? Let's just double check. We're going smart. So. Yeah. yeah, that looks good to me. Let's go. Confirm it. Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good. Uh, I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more. You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Right. So, let's see. I think we got our time do another one of these question mark missions. Hey, what's up? Hey man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog, but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you could put together your own deals, your own jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. Alright, so we're gonna go and do this mission. And we might go to the shrink. Just for a bit of fun. Do a little bit of first person driving. Now we can concentrate on going where we're going. Finally. Message for me, get off your fat ass. I see this uh, exercise stuff's about as relaxing for you as it is for my wife. No, I don't want to sleep with you, and no, I don't care that I'm 39 and single. It doesn't worry me a bit. Easy. I'm not stressed out at all. Now go fuck yourself. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Just fuck you. All of you. I'm on a run. Mm. Yeah, well, you seem a little upset. I could still run you into the fucking ground. <laughs> okay, hey. I played high school football, all right, sweetheart? All state, QB. Whatever. Just don't have a coronary. Let's go! Huh. Mm, so we're doing a race. Don't want to do that in first person. Okay, man boobs, race you to the beach! I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. You're not exactly... 
exactly dressed for cardio. It's running. How much gear do you need? Just give up. You're overcompensating. I can't believe you're cheating already. Stay on the path. I can't tell if you're loving this or hating it. Run on the road. Take that traffic head on. Yeah, I could have guessed you were one of those. That space is yours. Own it. The road is for runners. But you? You give me hope! I own you! My shrink's office is right near here if you want to work through some of that shit! Yeah, because you're a walking advertisement for therapy! Alright, this is probably going to kill me. And I'm still not going to come first. Yes! That's what I'm talking about! It's all Oh well. Should we try it again? Let's try it again. I think I need to cheat a little bit more just to get further away. Okay, ma'am boobs, race you to the beach. I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. You're not exactly dressed for cardio. It's running. How much gear do you need? This must be so emasculating for you. I can't believe you're cheating already. Uh, you should really think about behavioral medication. Run on the road. Take that traffic head on. Yeah, I could have guessed you were one of those. Screw you, I'm running here. Just fuck me. Screw you! You're lucky I'm tapering for a try. I'm just gonna take that bike. Alright, so we got that done. And we got enough time to visit the shrink, so we need to come around the other side. More running. Let's call up. Five five zero oh, one three nine. Call. Maybe not. So let's go see the shrink. The 
don't want to leave any part of this left out. Come in, Michael. Yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I just... I've been caught up in the bullshit, Doc. You know, ever since I pulled this Mexican's house off a hill, it's been nothing but killing and robbing. And I hooked up with this old associate. I even got a new one, too. This kid. With, I don't know, he has similar proclivities. Now everything's out of control. I mean, and if it's not by choice, you know, I just... My life just got away from me. That sounds a lot like denial, Michael. <laughs> this is really worrying. So, any other violent urges, friend? <sighs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top and right fucking on top and then I lose my shit and I hurt people and then I feel bad about it I, I'm a fucking prick remorse is good but not as good as taking control before you act out I really just want to be happy doc that's so bad okay and what about your sexual behavior I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where Getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? Who exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. Half the time my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. I'm pretty average for this town. Wait a minute. That's the shot. <laughs> I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This... I think... No, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> yep, that's what I hate about shrinks. That's pretty See much you next time. how it is. Okay. Because of that, I'm going to steal this car. Which he stupidly left unlocked. So, we'll get this. We'll take this back to the safe house. That's difficult. Mm. 
I'm sure a guy like Michael has stolen a van full of gas before. I'm the kind of person who would steal a van and make it into a van full of gas. Oops, too far. There we go. Is peace and quiet too much to ask for? Alright, so that'll be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you're enjoying this series or any of my other series, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button so that you know exactly when I upload any new videos. Comment below as well what you would like to see me do next. Till next time guys, see you later.